Hi there, this is Rick from ContainerGardeningForFood.com and this is a video all about slugs. Well, as you can see, my tomato plants are coming on beautifully. And uh, there is a very good reason for that, and uh, that is because these are being grown indoors. Now indoors you have a very good control over the environment in which your tomato plants grow, or any plant for that matter. But when you're growing your plants outdoors, that becomes a whole new ball game. Now that pot there, you can see that square pot, that contains uh, my butternut squash uh, plants. There are four plants in there. But I noticed about a week ago, one of the plants was being eaten. Now I did suspect slugs. So I went away and did a bit of research all about slugs. And as it turns out, the slugs generally come out at night and that's when they eat most of your plants. For the last few nights, I've been going out there very late at night with a torch and uh, having a little search around, particularly on the plants that seem to have been uh, eaten. And what I discovered, were uh, lots and lots of um, little small slugs. Uh, I found a few large slugs as well. And uh, so unfortunately, it does seem I've got a bit of a slug problem. So I've taken some steps to try to address this problem. Now I'm trying to grow everything organically this year. That means no uh, slug pellets, no chemicals, no pesticides, nothing like that. So I'm gonna have to rely on what nature uh, can provide for me in order to deal with this slug problem. Now the one thing that slugs absolutely cannot tolerate is salt. Salt is a very cheap ingredient, it's easy to get hold of, very you know, readily available. So I decided to try to treat my whole patio area uh, using salt. Now first things first, when I first discovered I had a slug problem, one of the problems I had was I didn't know where the slugs were coming from. And uh, I've only just recently discovered that uh, they were actually living on the underside of the actual pots that they were attacking. They were just waiting until the, the you know, the, uh, the sun went in and uh, night time came and then they would crawl up the sides of the pot and go and attack my, uh, my butternut squash plants and my runner bean plants. And, uh, and then before dawn came, they'd be back underneath and living underneath the pot. So in order to treat the area, what I first had to do was eradicate the problem. So I've literally gone under all of my pots and uh, just basically checked for uh, slugs and snails and anything that could be sort of living there. And I actually found quite a few. So when I was happy that the area that uh, I wanted to protect was clear of slugs and they, I didn't actually have any living within the boundaries of that area, what I did was I actually poured a salt boundary all the way around the outside, like a little, a little mound of salt that continued all the way around. And then I also sprinkled a lot of salt within the boundary, literally lift, lifting the pots away, covering the whole sort of patio area with salt and then putting the pots back. And the theory I've got going here is, you know, that the slugs are not gonna go anywhere near it now. They, obviously they, they don't like salt. I think they dissolve and explode on contact with salt. So they're obviously not gonna go anywhere near it. And uh, hopefully I should now be slug free within the pots that were once under attack. Obviously, if it rains or you know you get a heavy rainstorm, I think I think we'd be okay in a light rainstorm because you'll you'll just have a, a salt solution that'll dry and hopefully that'll still prevent the slugs. But obviously, I'm going to need to go out there sort of once every probably once a week, maybe four days or so, and uh, just top it up with a, a fresh sprinkling of salt. But hopefully, that's going to take care of my slug problems. And I hope to make another video a bit later on and let you know exactly how I got on with that. Now if you have a patio garden like this, um, then I don't ever see a problem with using this method. Obviously if you're planting directly in the ground, the last thing you want to be doing is putting salt directly on your soil because you will just render everything dead uh, because salt kills plants. It's just something uh, you, know, you do not want to be putting on your plants. So um, there are other ways of dealing with slugs naturally um, if you you know, are planting straight into the ground and uh, hopefully I'll cover that on a page in the website. I'm actually gonna be writing a quick page on the website about slugs. So uh, hopefully I'll include lots more information about how to do it if you haven't got a patio garden. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Take care.